Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Roberts' reading time. Today I have a story for you called Christopher Counting by Valerie Gorbachko. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I did my best. Christopher Counting. Children, today we're going to learn how to count, said Miss Goat. She held up 10 oranges, one at a time. Repeat after me. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Repeated all the children in the class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all said all day long their class counted. Christopher Rabbit loved the idea of counting. I can count everything, he said after school was over. One, two, three, four. He practiced on his walk home. We learned how to count today, Christopher said to his mother. Rabbit, when she started greeting him at the door, look, one, two notebooks, two, three pencils, four, five, six crayons. He counted everything in his backpack. Then Christopher counted the fish in his aquarium and the toys in his toy box. These are all good things you can do at home, counting and keeping your numbers in your brain. The plates and cups in the kitchen the boots, shoes, and sneakers in the hallway. That's like my hallway. Shoes everywhere. When he had finished counting everything in the house, Christopher went outside. One, two, three, he counted as he walked down the stairs. There were so many flowers in the meadow, only he counted the petals on one. When Beaver saw Christopher counting lilies in the pond, he said, come on, skip stones with me. No thanks, said Christopher. I am too busy counting. I'd rather count how many times your stone will skip on the water. I love counting, he said to Beaver as he went on. There, his stone is skipping across the water. He counted the butterflies in the air and the ants all on the ground until he heard little chip chipmunk call out, Hey, Christopher, we're going to play basketball with the herons. Come on and play with us. No, thank you, said Christopher. Not today. I'd rather count how many baskets you make. One, two, three. You count very well, said a heron. I just love counting, said Christopher. Thumbs up if you like counting. Me too. Then he left to find something else to count when he came upon a mole. He was counting as well. Hey, mole, said Christopher. Are you practicing counting too? No said Mole. I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Come play with us, Christopher. Yes, Christopher said. I would love to play. Christopher shut his eyes and counted to himself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, he was getting so good. Then Christopher went to find all his friends. One, he counted out loud as he found Turtle hiding in his shell. Two, he counted as he saw Fox next to the log. Three, he counted as he found Skunk behind a tree. 
four, he counted, when he found Mole hiding in the hill. Five, counted Christopher, as he found the mice under the tree trunk. Oops, he said, my mistake. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so all his friends played hide and seek until the sun hid behind the trees. Then Christopher went home. Well, I bet it's dinner time. <gasps> that was right. Christopher tried to count as he ate his supper, the peas on his plate and the carrots in his soup. After supper, he sat in a big chair, yawned and yawned. I am so sleepy, he said. I've already yawned seven times. It's bedtime, said Mother Rabbit. Honey, put on your pajamas and let's go to bed. Wait, said Christopher, I forgot to count something. He went out to the porch and he stared up at the night sky. One, two, three. Oh no, cried Christopher. It's impossible. There are way too many stars to count. Mother Rabbit tucked Christopher into bed. Sweet dreams, honey, she said, and she gave him a good night kiss. One kiss, counted Christopher, and he happily fell asleep. <laughs> Bye guys. See you next time. Hope you have a great day.